Hey guys, it's Crystal Renee here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining. Hey my planty friends, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, if you can please give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and also leave me a comment below and share with the planty friend. And don't forget to click that bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a new video. Today, I did a thing. I actually had an appointment today. Um, some things has been going on with my health and all, but that is not what this video is about. There was a plant nursery that I haven't been to in a while near where I had my appointment. And because I had some time, I decided to stop by and I wanted to bring you guys along. And that is the plant stand of Arizona. And here's how that went. So as you first walk in, you are greeted with tons and tons of pottery. As you can see, they have pottery in all different sizes and colors. And then here to my right, you can see lots of palm trees. And then here to my left, they have a building where they carry tropical foliage, medium and large sizes. I wasn't here for that and my visit was kind of short. So I knew exactly where I wanted to go, which is to the greenhouse where they have the house plants. But as you can see, they do carry a large selection of outdoor plants as well. Before I entered the greenhouse, this happened. Careful, what's dangerous in there? <laughs> <laughs> two pots. Okay for two pots. Oh. <laughs> so as you walk in to the right, you see pottery and lots of things like soil, fertilizer, and things of that nature. All for great prices, I should mention. They had a sign posted with all of their daily sales that they had going on today. Now this video isn't sponsored, but you can follow the Plant Stand of Arizona on Instagram if you like. But here they had more pottery. They had a huge selection of pottery. Now if you look to my left, you see that they have anthurium, bromeliads, and more pottery to my right. So here they had four inch tropical plants, two for 10, one for 5.95, more beautiful planters. They had tons of pottery, as you can see. Gorgeous pottery, I must say. Here's what they had on sale, two for 20. They had some beautiful micans. I was tempted. They even had items for people who are into fake plantery. No judgment, but I'm not. And as you can see, they had tons of plants, rubber plants and snake plants and ZZs. And they had a tremendous amount of string of hearts. And they were quite full and healthy looking too. I must say the hearts on those string of hearts were pretty large and well taken care of. As you can see, they had some nice begonia hanging planters of Monster Peru as well. And more string of hearts. Now, I can't believe I almost missed these. They had about 15 left. They had two inch plugs of Thai Constellation. Monstera Thai Constellation, that is. And they were beauties. I did see on their Instagram that they had a ton of them that they just had in their shop. That was 30 minutes prior showing up. And to see that they only had 15 left, they were going like hotcakes. I 
I also came across some pretty cool plant sticks that they had for $3.95 and some larger ones for about $6.95. So as I mentioned earlier, I haven't been there in a while and they had a few things, but not quite as much as I'm used to seeing there. But as you saw in the video, I did have my eye on one particular plant. I did have this plant once before in my collection and I decided to try again and I couldn't just bypass it. So let me show you what I brought home with me. So if you were to guess, what plant do you think I brought home? If you guess the Monstera Thai constellation, then you guessed right. So I couldn't bypass this pretty baby. I decided to bring this home with me. Isn't she gorgeous? Let me show you her roots. Now it is just a plug, but it is rooted very well, as you can see, and has been grown in soil. So lately, as you know, I've been putting everything in pond, but the people there at the plant stand did suggest that I go ahead and put this back into some soil and let it mature much more and maybe take cuttings in the future. But as of right now, they did suggest to put it back in soil. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in a chunky soil mixture and I'm gonna put it in a clear four inch planter. That way I can keep an eye on its roots. As you may know, Thai constellation are pretty finicky and prone to rot. So I'm gonna do my best to keep a close eye on this pretty baby. And hopefully I can have a large Thai constellation like I had once before, but growing it from a baby this time. I decided I'm going to go ahead and pop her up on camera so that we can do it together. So I have this cute little catch pot, no hole at the bottom. So I'm going to pot her up in this clear planter. That way I can keep an eye on the roots. Here's the scoop I'm going to use to get the soil. And yeah, let's just get started. So here I have my soil mixture and everything else I need in front of me. And let's get started. Let's just take the soil here and Looks good there. So we're gonna place it in the center like that. And I'm just gonna backfill it. Okay, as you can see, I have her all potted up. And she's looking pretty good. As you can see, she has four leaves. And hopefully we can get more than that. I am going to water her just a little bit. I'm not going to overwater her. But I do want to go ahead and spray her down with my solution just to make sure there are no bugs or anything like that. And hopefully she lives a great life here in my home. I'm going to put her in this cash pot like so. And I think she looks pretty cute. What do you think? So 
so she is all potted up. I think she looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and give her a water off camera. And that is pretty much it for this video. If you made it to the end of this video, you are greatly appreciated. And as I always say, enjoy peace, spread love, and be blessed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you never miss a post. Share with all your planty friends. And follow me on my Instagram so that we can interact.